Hello, my beautiful soul, my soul tribe, my gorgeousness, darlings, beautiful souls. Welcome back to this channel and welcome to this reading. I'm feeling someone needs a reading, and hence you're here, because someone is getting uh, either a knock on their door at night time, usually around between three or th two or three at night, two or three a.m., and or there's a someone at the door or someone you feel like it's someone's ringing you and but no one's there so i really want to find out what is this about is there changes coming in your life is that what what, what it is because i'm feeling someone is telepathically sending this message that i need to do the reading so this is collective reading okay take what resonates leave or leave the rest okay for someone else who is watching I'm going to put three cards down. The past. The present. And the future. On the past, I'm going to have a look. Where is this coming from? Okay. And what's happening right now? And where is this going to lead? And I'm going to clarify with the other tarot decks as well. And if I need, I'll use the situation cards. So where is it coming from? Hmm. It's you. You are attracting something. Oh, okay. I'm seeing straight away, I'm seeing a lighthouse. And why I'm seeing this? Because lighthouse sends out that signal, vibration, the light sequence uh, by which the ships in the sea know which coastal point it is you are trying to attract something it's something to do with you oh my goodness okay this is not, might not be resonating with everyone i feel like some of you may have had a channeled reading channeled messages or you have been maybe channeling something because this is about souls and spirits and i feel like maybe you are trying to connect with someone um who is not here anymore on on physical realm but or is not in your life as a person but you're trying to connect in a spiritual um in a spiritual in, in spiritual kind of level that's where it's coming from i'm seeing here okay let's clarify this card you are new to this thing. You never. I don't think you. You might have done it once or twice, intentionally or unintentionally. But it's you. Something has been opened. I feel like there's some sort of portal has been opened. Have you moved the house? Or something and and or and you don't. You know. Do you know what's really happened in the house? I feel like your surroundings are very. Hmm. Seven of Cups again. Magic. <laughs> Look at this guy here. As if like and you know did you know that finger is very powerful? Did you know that finger and hand gestures? Because when you make a gesture, I want that or no or whatever. It's very like the magic stick you know it's it has this power you send out the signal like a energy whatever you've been doing has had a massive impact i'm gonna find out what is the situation you might not even be aware of it okay how is this how is this in which in which form tragedy Okay, again, it might not resonate with everyone, and that's absolutely fine. Either someone has left you, or you left someone, or there has been some death in the family, or someone has left, or there's some sort of overwhelming energies that has um, emotions, memories that are flooding over you, like flooding your life. And you have 
You know, sometimes people, when, when they grieve, they say, I wish God took me instead or something else. Like, you know, that people do say things because they're hurt. And um, do they mean at the time? Probably they do. And that's when the, what you say mixed with your energy, mixed with your emotions, create that very, very strong um, manifestation. And it's something has triggered here. Let's have a look at what's happening right now. So what is going on? Oh, wow. Eight of Pentacles. There's a word for it. Oh, let me... I'm, I'm going to clarify. Pull the card for clarification. I feel like, like you are in that epicenter. Have you... <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever channeled or you're suddenly experiencing that you're hearing sounds or you're feeling seeing shadows or you're seeing the kind of shapes of light or you're seeing people's auras are you seeing or you're sensing people's moods you're very sensitive and i feel like some of you have opened third um third eye it's very powerful um, before you, one does that, you need, to, you need to really understand what happens when you open third die. It's ever so powerful. Let's have a look. I'm seeing letter T. Have you heard, oh my God, I'm hearing so much. One of the things I'm hearing is like children playing, you know, the sound of children playing by the river, a river going downstream, beautiful, clear water. I'm just seeing the vision. Someone did a reading either on you or someone sending you messages as well. Someone wants to connect with you. And either this person is alive or not. Like, I mean, alive meaning the soul is alive, but either this person is physically um, in on this planet or not. It doesn't matter. Someone is trying. Really, really trying. <laughs> by any means to connect with you. And and I I don't believe that it's freaking you out. Perhaps it's something that you never experienced before. Don't don't be scared. This is something that um you are going to work out and understand. Interesting, like I'm seeing this chair, the bench here. Okay. You know, there's parks where you go and uh, walk and there's like people's names on a bench. You are about to walk through the park or through something and you're going to see plaque. And that's going to be, I don't know what you're going to see there, but this is going to be significant. It will make sense. There's a message for you on this plaque. It might not be like straightforward message but when you see it you will know that that message that words or whatever whatever those words or symbols whatever is on that plaque means something to you and that soul that person wants you to know that 
Or is the future? What's what's about to happen? Nine of Swords. Don't cry. Don't cry yet. It feels like someone's saying don't cry. Past has no power over you. Either there's some guilt, there's some grief. But that's all gone. That's all gone. It's time to move on. I feel like some okay. There's there's a child. Here we go. There's a, the sound of the child that I was hearing. Magician and broken heart. I feel as well. Maybe some of you have had a relationship or a person, whatever the situation has happened, and you're no longer together. You won't be. You will not be together right now. But there's some energetic connection, like a spiritual connection happening, and. As hard it is, this soul is saying you need to move on. Whatever your connection was, was it your father, your mother, whatever your spouse, are this they still alive but you split up? Whatever that, whatever the circumstances was, you need to move on. You need to look at the stars, something positive, something to hope for. And you needed to leave something behind. Perhaps a person even. Hide away. It looks like vacation escaping something. I feel like some of you are covering up. You know, you might be smiling but deep down you're feeling sad or you might be feeling very you're it's like facade you're having some sort of facade if that helps you to get through life or things that's fine but don't don't create a massive thick layer of a wall that love or positivity positivity can't get through to you I'm going to pull over my cards. There is about to happen some closure. Oh my god. I just saw a candle. Either you're going to light a candle or you will see someone lighting a candle. And then the church bell is going to ring. I don't know what that means. But you will know when you hear the church bell or someone lighting a candle or you see a candle. Oh my, I didn't notice this card. Oh. Divorce final. There's a closure. And it's okay. Whew. This is heavy. This is heavy. But look, now you know. Because... With this closure, you might be sad, but your soul contract is complete. That was karma. It could have been your twin flame. It could be your soulmate. It had significant influence in your life that it needed to be in your life for whatever reason. And you needed to be in their life for whatever reason. And now, it's time to wrap you up. No need to put the pink bow on top. It is what it is. Sit with it. Sit with it. When you have a problems, don't drink. Don't, don't eat them. Don't uh, escape them. Sit with it. Sit with that feeling. And then let it go. Because life goes on. It was a chapter of life. It wasn't a life sentence. It was meant to be. Perhaps you're struggling maybe to understand the reason. 
but you will. You do know why. There's are several things. Maybe this person taught you how to love or taught you how to be more self-independent, how to value yourself. This was meant to be. And this currently, you went through this whole circle, this whole cycle, and you can finally can put a full stop to this and start a fresh new chapter in your life. And here we are. Thanks so much for being here. And if you think someone else might benefit from this reading, please share with them. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. What's going in your life? Where are you from? Or just hi. Or a candle. Or a church bell. Whichever. I'm sending you love and light. And remember, whatever happens, I love you. And all is well. And you are amazing.